Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Terranil. Alrighty, so last episode we completed the Tundra area, oh the Polar area. Yeah, that's the one with all the volcanoes and whatnot. Now we are moving on to Continental. I think this is like a cityscape environment. Oh yeah, Flooded City, says right there, duh. Jumping on in. Alrighty, we need to dredge the ocean floor to create land to grow greenery. Um, recycle the dredges and then place tidal turbines. Okay, what do we got here? It looks like looks like a flooded city to me. All right, so what kind of items do we have? So we have the undersea dredger. Okay, that's gonna create land. Um, the tidal turbine. That's gonna create power. That's like a windmill. Oh, we have a recycler right off the bat. Okay, that's good. Oh, there's our little recycler right there. So I'm thinking we need to keep that. We need to make sure that thing has access to the sea at all times, I'm guessing. Um, and then we got some climate options. So, geological stability. All right. Uh, humidity and temperature. There's nothing we need to do with the cold. So, we can start bringing the temperature up pretty quick here. Oh, no. There is a couple things that we need to do with the cold. So, we need to be less than 10 degrees and then less than 15. So, we need to bring up the humidity a little bit. Okay, um, let's start with some, let's start with some dredging. Let's see what we could do with that. Um, I guess I'll just plop one down. I don't know. Let's put one down right here. Okay, so we've got three dredges available. So we need to do a monorail. I'm going to put one right here and I'll put one right about here. Okay, um, I guess I can dredge up over here. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, that works. And then, so we've got a couple more dredges available. Let's put one right about here. Our geological stability is going down, so I think that's a good thing. And then let's put another one, I don't know, right here. Okay, good deal. We're going to need tidal turbines to create power, so there's not a whole lot of places where we could put these things. I believe once we recycle this, we could put a turbine right there. So let's do some more dredging so that we have plenty of places to put our scrubbers and our irrigators. I'll do some more dredging right about here. Um, We're going to have to connect up a monorail network. Let's do it right there. Add some dirt right about... Yeah, let's do it right about here. Get another one right about here and I'll do one more right here. Okay, that looks good. Now if we recycle, can we... Oh, I can't reach it. Shoot. I don't have the recycling beacons either. Uh, I kind of landlocked myself there a little bit. Oh, I can put it right here. That has access. Oh, and we can get rid of the buildings too. So that's going to give me leaf money as well. All right, let's see what happens with that. There goes our little boat thing. Okay, good. So we're left with a frame. And we can put this here. Okay, so that should give us power so we can do all the scrubbies. Very good. All right. Then I can start getting some greenery in here. Like right there. And right there. Okay, lots of leaf money. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, knowing that, we can do a lot of recycling around here. That's going to give us 100. Um, that's 30. Yeah, it's plus 100. So is it taking in, in account the build costs? Oh, yes, it is. So build cost is minus 30. So we'll gain, we'll gain that exact amount. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... Maybe we could put some more dredging over here. Let's do that. Let's get our monorail network into place. Okay. Um. Now let's put some dirt in. Now I don't want to landlock myself too much. I'm thinking I can still get through here. Yeah, that's still water. Let's dirty it up there. And here. And why not here? Okay, that looks good. I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put another dredger out here. Network it up. Let's fill this area in. I should be able to get to this thing. If Yeah, I, I can still reach it. So I'm going to kind of landlock that one. Oh, shoot. I need to watch my money. Let's go ahead and let's recycle all that first. 
I'll put some power right about, let's put it right about here. Scrubby dubbies. And we'll just water it up there and up here. So I don't think, I mean, I've got this thing open, just kind of keeping an eye on it. I don't think there's a way for me to get rain. Yeah, normally I shoot for rain so that way it cleans everything up. But um, yeah, it's not an option here. I need to get the humidity up a little bit and that should actually solve most of our problems. So let's, let's see if we could work on that. Now, since we got a little bit of money, if I put this here, that's 13%. We got wildflowers, that's nice. That's an additional 12% there. And another 9% right there. Okay, so we got a couple things here. Uh, we got fungi in the forest and moss. Yeah, moss on the boulders. Okay, good, good. I'm going to hold off on that for a little while. Let's, let's build up some more monies. Yeah, monies is running super low. Okay, I'll put that there. I'm going to toss this up here. Let's add some dirt all around here. And let's do one right there. We got a couple more skyscrapers we could recycle. Let's do this one. This one. And we not and we might as well pick up over here as well. Okay. Yeah, too bad about this this skyscraper there. Okay. I think I need to build up some more land. We're still working on the geological stability. So I could do some dredging out here, and then I could transport it where I want it to go. Um, I think I'm going to take it way in here. I'm going to make a big landmass right here. So let's let's just cart all this dirt in all the way over here. Okay, we'll put a big piece of dirt there. Another one here. And another one right about here. You know, now that I think of it, I don't know why I added so much dirt there because I don't have another power plant. Uh, shoot. That probably wasn't the wisest move. <laughs> um, maybe we should just fill up this area. Let's get another dredger. Let's put that one there. This one here. And we'll do one more right about here. Let's recycle that up. Okay, good. Uh, we got lots of room for these generators. Let's put a generator there. Let's get a scrubber there and there. And hopefully we can irrigate this. Yeah, that's a good spot. Uh, uh, 129? Do it. Pop up another generator there. Scrubby and scrubby. Okay, not too bad. The stability is going down, which I think is a good thing. And then our greenery is going up. All right, so there's a big open area here where we can work on greenery as well. I want to spread them out as much as I can. Cover more ground that way. Let's put a scrubby there. Scrubby, scrubby, and scrubby. Uh, 89, that's not a whole lot. I was hoping to irrigate more than that. Uh, 109, let's do that. Hey, we got a thing. Moss on the rock faces, okay. Good deal. Oh, there we go. Look at all the moss, nice. Might as well keep scrubbing up here. And irrigate that up. We're at 87%. We're not too far off. I think I need to make a little more landmass. Let's put our dredger over here. Ooh, running out of material. Let's get this put up, I don't know, right about here. And let's put another one here so those connect. Dredge it and dredge it up. I want to make sure our little salvage boat still has room to get out, so... I don't want to cover this up. Maybe that's not a whole lot of room there. Yeah, I don't want to waste this last dredging, so let's just hold on to it. I'll get a scrubby up here, and let's hope this irrigator does some work. Come on, I need a good. I need a really need a good spot for this one. 84. That looks like our best. Okay. Oh, we're still at 94%. We are running low on supplies.
Yeah, it's really unfortunate that I landlocked myself up here. I could have taken out this skyscraper and watered all, all of this stuff up here. So, looks like we're going to have to work our way down. Let's get... Hmm. If I put another scrubber around here, would that help out? You know what? If I recycle some of these resources, I could get some money back. So, let's just recycle... I don't know. These? I don't think I need those anymore. That way, I can get a new monorail out here and hopefully... Some more scrubbies going. There we go. I want to get a new landmass out here. And let's get a new scrubby out here. Hopefully this will do it. Nah, I need another dredger. Let's get that dredger there. Ah, uh, that's not much of a landmass, but we'll try it. Alrighty, this ain't good. We're running out of monies. Um, what can I do? I guess I should just start reclaiming buildings. Yeah, like all that stuff should be useless, I believe. Let's reclaim that. I, mean, I don't like pulling up our power generators, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Let's work on that. Okay, looks like we're all out of land masses that we can cover down here. This is not good. Um... Can I fill up? Oh, good. I can fill up over here. So this is kind of our last help here. Let's fill that up. And hope that we got enough stability with that. Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we have a detonator. I didn't know the detonator can take out land. Okay, this is going to be the way. Okay, let's put a detonator there. That opens that up. Can we get close enough to... Yes. Okay, let's pull that building out. Okay, good. Okay, so we pulled that dredger out. Let's get some scrubbies here. Oh, yeah, this should do it. Okay, that should be the last one. Okay, so we've unlocked that. Dredging may have made the ground unstable. Nevertheless, increase in biodiversity. Create enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves in the shells of skyscrapers. Use the roots of new deciduous forest to break down concrete. Okay, so that last 2% should be done with plants. All right, we've got some rumbling going on. Uh, radiation cleansers. Okay, yeah, this is the map where we start getting radiation. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get a bamboo nursery. Yeah, why not? Uh, 47 there. 42 there. I should bring up the humidity a little bit and see what that one does. All right, let's get, ooh, right here, 92. That's a good one. Nice. Uh, 47. One more, one more. Let's do 42. Okay, so we're good on bamboo. Oh, now we have power pylons. Okay, that's good. Now we can start sending power where we need it. Ooh, ready. Um, you know what? First, I think I'm going to just bring the humidity... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We got the sirens. Alrighty, here comes the radiation. Affects rainfall. I wish we could get rainfall. There we go. Rainfall. Okay, good. Alright, so now we need to deal with the radiation. So that is where these things come into play. The radiation cleansers. We need to get these... We need to get these close enough to suck up as much radiation as we can so that way we can build some sunflowers. I guess sunflowers, they they do a pretty good job at absorbing radiation. I think that's why like they're the symbol of peace or something like that. Um, let's do one right here. I'm going to need some power over here. For some reason, we can't build those indirect radiation or, or any buildings for that matter. So let's get more power over here. Let's get that there. And we should be able to build this a little closer. And build this one. Oh, I can't build it up here. Oh, shoot. That's annoying. Oh, no, we're kind of in trouble here. How am I supposed to get to here? There's always a way. There's always a way. Oh, let's try... What if we detonate and then build a mineralizer? And that should get us close enough. Uh, detonate right there. Now we can build a mineralizer. 
and a scrubby right somewhere. Huh, I can't build it here. Oh, it needs power. It needs power. I need to get power a little closer. Um, Put you there. Ah, that's what it was. Power. Okay. Um, Let's get you... Let's get another one here. And yeah, that's as close as I can go with this. And that should be enough. Build that there and build this there. Ooh, I should scrub some more. Can I get another scrubber close by? No, I can't. If I put one right about here. Okay, and now let's go for the sunflowers. Yeah, that's a little better. I mean, still a negative one, but um, that's got that under control. Okay, good. Ooh, what a mess. Hopefully we could get some pylon beacon so we could clean all this up a little easier. All right, moving on over here. I think our tidal turbine should still be working in the radiation. You just can't build in radiation. Let's get our cleanser here. Another cleanser here, and that might be close enough. Yeah, I could do sunflowers, but that's not going to be worth a whole lot. So I'm going to put another cleanser here. Let's get some pylons getting closer. And let's clean up the area with some scrubbers just so we could get some more use out of this thing. Let's build one there. And one there. Okay, lots of fertile ground. And some flowered up. Ooh, that's a 12. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Now we should have one last one to do here. All right, power is going to be tricky. It's way over here. So let's get ourselves a pylon. A cleanser. More pylon. And more cleanser. Ooh, we are out of money. Um, Can we recycle something? I can recycle over here. Hopefully that will help out. Okay, that's good. Got some monies. Uh, so what happens if I was to put the sunflower on now? Negative 38. That's not that great. The trouble is, do I have money to cleanse this area a little more? Um, let's try it. Yeah, we could put this right about here. That should cleanse up a good good area. Now if I put the sunflowers here, it's a little more worth it. I mean, it's only 20. All right, whatever. Ah, we got the check mark, so we're good. Okay, we've dealt with radiation. I thought we dealt with radiation. We're still at 32 CPM, whatever CPM is. Uh, we need to be at 30. Ew, okay. Oh, there's still some stink lines up here. Okay, so we got to take care of that, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's some stink lines over here. These might be the easiest ones to do over here. Um, if I have money for it. I don't think I have that much money for it. We need to recycle some more. No, there's not much to recycle. That's the problem. Shoot, I could take out this power plant and rely off of this one. Let's see what happens if I do that. Now, apparently these are still getting power from somewhere. That works. What happens if I add another one here? And another one of these here. Oh, cool. Okay. We've got kelp forest now. Isn't that in the water? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got some kelp growing. Okay. Uh, radiation is pretty much dealt with. No, we still got to bring radiation down a little more. That's crazy. Can I bring it down anymore? I guess I have a little bit there. Let's try for... Let's try for this one. This one might be easier. Pylon there. Scrubber there. There we go. Now we're down below 25. Okay, no more radiation. That's it. We're good. We're good enough. Okay, if I want rain, I need to bring the temperature above 25 degrees Celsius and... 
above 85% humidity. Okay, that's a lot. That would be the best thing to shoot for for money right now. So let's work on that. Cloud seed it up. There, let's get one there. Um, let's get another one. Four percent right there. What'd I say? Oh, 85%. Okay. Um, coming out here, we can get one. Seven, six. Seven percent. Not bad. Okay. Get another one. Let's get one. Uh, we're going to need another power plant. Let's put that there. This is going to bankrupt us. Uh, 65. Okay, what am I going to get? If I bring that up to 85%, am I going to get any monies for that? No, I'm not because I still don't have the temperature up. That's going to bankrupt us. I mean, we'll still have a little bit money to salvage something, so maybe that's worth it. Yeah, this is going to bring us up to 13%. Okay, so we've just got enough money to salvage with our 30. So it's not going to return much back. All right, let's salvage this. I could salvage over here. Let's pick that up. I'm going to detonate right here. Oh, that's going to hurt our stability. You know what? I don't think it matters anymore. Stability doesn't matter. Um, That way, oh, you can get a little closer here. Yeah, 110. That's a lot better. Let's pick that up. Wait, if I pick that up and that opens up, hopefully that doesn't harm me. Come on, little boat. Okay, good. It didn't pick that up or the scrubbers. Okay, good, good. All right, we got a little bit of money to play with, so let's start playing with the temperature. We need to be above 25. Looks like most of these, yeah, if we could get above 25, we should be collecting money on the way. Oh, combustor? I don't care for those guys. All right. Let's build a few of these. I can burn the bamboo forest, but that feels bad. Ooh, this is 7 degrees Celsius. Let's burn that. Uh, 6 degrees. Going to burn some of that bamboo. Um, Let's try to avoid that if we can. Uh, 4 degrees. Let's do that. You know what? I could squeeze in another toxin scrubber here. I can irrigate this spot. Uh, 46. 46. I think that's the best I'm going to get. I'll put that there, and then we can torch this up. Huh, I can't torch it up. Okay. Torch that up. Oh, well, let's just move on over here. And is this our last one? Vegetation boom. Okay, we got that. No, one more. Come on, one more big one. Six degrees. That'll do it. It's probably more than enough. I can probably squeeze that lower. Three degrees, that's perfect. Let's do that so that way we don't burn off our, our bamboo. And we've got the rain. So now, now the money's going to start flowing in. I'm going to put this on high speed. Lots of leaf money coming in. Alrighty. Okay, now, now since we got money, let's start working on the other things. We've got a conservatory. That needs to be on top of a toxin scrubber. Okay, I got rid of a lot of toxin scrubbers. That's the problem. How about this one? You know, let's let the rain scrub this up a little bit before we put it there. There's a scrubber. Yeah, let's put that. That way we get it like a mixture of biomes here. I'm sure some animals might like a little bit of bamboo, a little bit of forest, a little bit of sunflower. And that should be the last one. Perfect. Okay, what is next? A lagoon. I need... I probably need this thing to make a lagoon. It cleans and completely encloses an area of ocean to create a lagoon. It is too large to purify. So it's got to be like trapped? Is that what I need to do? 
So if I build a calcifier here, oh yeah, it does have to be completely trapped. Okay, lagoon that up. Ooh, I got a lot to do here. Okay, I mean, I wanted to use the boat to recycle, but I guess I'm going to have to trap this in. Let's calcify that. Is that considered trapped? No, too large. Let's try that again. Well, there we go. Okay, this is counting. This is still too large. Shoot. Let's do this area. And if I calcify this, I can probably get this whole area. Ooh, 113. That's a lot. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. Minus 28. Eh, not the best. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to make another lagoon. I'm guessing we're just going to have to detonate an area. Let's give that a try. Um, right here. And let's do right here. And lagoon it up. 22. Oh, perfect. Okay. As your final step, you'll need to finish recycling a city and reintroduce animals. Construct interstellar rocket on which you leave. Use satellite scans to gather seeds from all over the planet and store them in your rocket's vault. Finally, place this guidebook in the cockpit and leave the world restored. Okay, lots to do. Where am I going to build this rocket? Rocket silo. So I have to build it there, so I have to destroy this area. But I can't take it down. If I put that there, I can put the beacon there. That'll take all that down. Okay, what about this? Can I take it up with that? There we go. Um, I still can't put this down because that little stupid little boat's in the way. Oh, I gotta upgrade it to a flying drone. Okay. Okay, okay. Now can I put you in? Yes, okay. Now he's taking off. Okay, so I got this big monster. Now we've got a flying drone. Okay, that works. And you're just gonna hang out right there. Okay. Okay, so before we build this rocket, let's get our animals taken care of. So I'm going to put the little animal camera thing there. And let's start seeing what we need to do. Shell-bearing reptile frolics in a large lagoon. What shell-bearing reptile frolics? I've never heard of that. Can't be a turtle. Um, a turtle? I, I would never explain a turtle as the type of creature that would frolic. But whatever, okay, turtles go there. This resplendent fowl struts on wide open grasslands. Um, resplendent, I've never heard of that word. Okay, what is that? Oh, it's a peacock. This gentle giant happily gnaws bamboo near a glade. Okay, this has gotta be a panda bear. Okay, good. Uh, this fierce raptor makes its eerie in a tall structure near to a source of prey. So I'm thinking the prey is going to be a peacock or a turtle. So um, here's a tall structure. No, okay. So we got a tall structure. It needs prey. What about over here? No. Okay, so turtle is not its prey. Maybe let's move on and see if we can find something else. Widespread suiform roots or tubers in the undergrowth of a deciduous forest. Uh, I've got a deciduous forest up here. Let's try that. Is it a pig? Oh, it's a boar. Okay. Um, and what's that? Endangered marine mammal darts among the fronds of kelp forest. Uh, kelp forest over here. Oh, it's an otter. Okay, nice. Now, what does a raptor eat? What does this raptor thing eat? Um, not going to be a sea otter. No, it's got to be the peacocks. No, it's not the peacocks. It doesn't eat boars, does it? Okay, I'm going to rediscover peacocks, hopefully somewhere over here. Okay, so we got peacocks there. Let's see if I can discover this up here. No, that doesn't count as a structure for some reason. Unless I got to get rid... Oh, you know what? That still has an irrigator up there, so maybe I need to get rid of it first. Because it probably doesn't like it. Okay. 
Now it's O natural. Let's put this here. No. Does he eat the turtles? Okay, we got turtles there. Okay, I got boars here. I've literally got boars, peacocks, and turtles right here. And I know it doesn't eat a panda. You've got to be kidding me. There we go. It eats boars? What is that? An eagle. Eagles don't eat boars. That, that makes no sense. I mean... I've never heard of an eagle eating a boar. Okay, whatever. That's that's done. We got all the animals, however strange they are. Okay, now it's time to just beacon it up and start taking everything down. So let's take that down. Oh, it flies over there, so I don't need a monorail network. I can just... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes life a lot easier, so I'll just... Plop down a thingamajig there and put a beacon on it. Oh, why can't the rest of this the game be this easy? It's like we got most of the stuff. Okay, so this over here, this is getting to be a little tricky. I don't have anything to put a monorail on. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. Okay, never mind. And put that there. That should pick that up. I'm just missing this area here, but I could put a monorail on those rocks. There we go. That's looking good. Missed one up there. Put that there. Grab that up. Okay. So now I'm just missing the telescope. So we are all done with the animals. So I can pick that up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, good. Everything's picked up. So how are we going to get rid of the rocket silo if we launch a rocket? So what, what's going to stay behind to pick this up? Huh. Okay. Next we need seed vault. So what? how, how do we do the seeds? I don't know how to do the seeds. Um, oh, okay. Uh, launches a satellite that helps you scan for plants. Okay. Where can I put this? Requires power. Yuki dookie, let's get you some power. Uh, power it up over there. Let's get our satellite going there. You said you were launching a satellite, not sending a balloon up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sea to vault uplink. Um, what do? No comms array detected. What do I do with this? Okay, I'm going to forget about that for a minute. Um, let's do stage one of nine right here. Um, comms array A. Oh, oh, it says no comms array detected, so it needs this thing. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we've got stage three. Okay. I don't know where all these parts are coming from, but, you know the wasteland provides or something like that okay we've got that stage five of nine frozen plant and animal dna geez how many comms arrays do we have it's a big rocket eight of nine unlocks flooded city view and satellite uplink okay oh it's the, oh it's the ecosystems of the areas that we went to um caps the rocket with the collected seeds, the rocket will then be ready for launch. Okay. So when do I do the uplink thing? Okay, that's done. I don't have a check mark on my animals or my recycling. Well, I know my recycling's not done. Um, do we do the seeds now? Okay, now we could do the seeds. Okay. Flooded city. Oh, okay, so I gotta scan these areas. There we go. Got that biome. It's hard to see in black and white. Okay, I just need more bamboo. Can I just spam it? No. Okay, I've got that done. 
Uh, let's move on to River Valley. Oh, this is the first map we did. Oh, that's cool that it remembers that. It remembers all the maps. Oh, there's our big lake for, for the swans. Okay. I need... What was it? Bobos or something like that? Um, Where is it? Okay, there's a little bit there. Hopefully there's a there's no limit to how many times I could scan. Oh, almost there. Come on. Oh, I see a deer. Nice. Okay, got that one done. Desolate Island. Okay, we've got our sand. We've got our mangroves. We've got coral. We just need the tropical. The jungle. Okay. And finally, we've got Volcanic Glacier. Scan there. Scan there. It looks like you could get kind of spammy with this, so not too bad. So I've got our Tundra, our Forest, and our Like and Subscribe. Okay. Oh, and the Kelp Forest. Was it Kelp? I think it was Kelp. Okay, that is all done. Time to bring back the satellite. It looks like it's going to land way out there. How convenient. Uh, put that there. Let's recall it. That'll recall it, but I can't do it with a beacon? No. Okay, so I have to use the recycling silo. Now I can use the beacon. Okay, that's good. Um, I still don't have a check mark on the animals, so I don't know if I did that right. I have all the animals. Why don't I have a check mark? Is it because I missed... No, no, I never missed any animals. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I have that. So let's just get our monorail up here. Get that recalled. Now the recycling's done. Okay. I think we are all good. Ooh, launch satellite or launch missile or whatever we are. Alrighty. Let's get the heck out of here. I want to see what happens to the silo. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about right now. Oh, there goes each one of our biomes. Nice. Fills. Okay. Oh, uh, so you just leave it as part of nature. Okay. And now we get to appreciate everything. Alrighty. Well, that was pretty cool. Off to the next planet. And the credits roll. Yeah, this was a very short game. I mean, it was only four missions. Um, however, there is there is more to this game. There are four more alternative missions, and they are actually a little bit harder. They take place in the same regions, and you get to kind of replay it as, a, as an alternative. So, um, yeah, a little bit harder, a little, little bit. You get, I think they give you a little more tools to, to get things done with. All right, you've unlocked the alter alternative versions of all the regions. Select like the region. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. Next episode, we're probably going to continue with the alternative version. And let's see, River Van Valley. So we're going to go with the abandoned quarry next episode. Excited to get started with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed so far. If you have, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.